What's up, everybody? Stevie B here from Dynasty Life Fantasy Football. Today, we're talking about Sky Moore. Buy, sell, hold on Sky Moore. What are we doing with Sky Moore? What do we think about the situation? Let's talk about it. Before we get into it, guys, just do me a quick favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if you do play Dynasty Fantasy Football. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Sky Moore. Last year, he was a late first round pick in rookie drafts or early second round pick. He was a great athlete, had a great profile coming out of college, a great route runner, graded really well on Matt Harmon's reception perception. But also remember, he did come from a smaller school, a little bit less competition. So there was a lot for him to learn coming to the NFL, especially because he started out as a defensive back in college and switched over to wide receiver while in college. So he's still basically learning the position. Um, and then especially getting drafted to the Chiefs, he is going into an offense that is very sophisticated kind of offense. And we can look at this one of two ways, okay? Most people are on the side of that he's a bust because he didn't do well. He wasn't able to get on the field, especially with injuries that were happening. And that's fair. That's a fair assessment. But when you look into it a little bit deeper, Sky Moore was utilized all over the field in multiple different wide receiver positions. So he was learning multiple different positions last year. So the Chiefs really put a lot on him as far as learning and learning that offense to prepare him for this year where Juju is not there anymore. So you've got that slot role opened up. Does Sky Moore take over that slot role, which is where he belongs? We saw last year that when he was in the game, especially more towards the end of the season, he was heavily targeted when he was out there. I mean, that second half of the season in the playoffs, he had like a 27% target share. For the season, it was at 17 and a half, but they started getting him the ball more, especially with injuries and everything that happened in the later part of the season, especially that one overtime game in the fourth quarter and in overtime, he had multiple really big catches uh, for Patrick Mahomes. So I really think that this is the year that Sky Moore starts to break out a little bit. Obviously, you still got Kelsey there. You still have MVS. You've got Tony on the other side. You've got the new rookie Rashid Rice coming in there as well. I'm not a huge fan of Rashid Rice. Don't love the talent. But Sky Moore, an exceptional route runner and separator, and hopefully this year he can get to show what he can do with some more playing time. The team has said that they are going to involve him more in the offense this year, so I'm excited to see you know what happens there. But currently, Sky Moore's ADP is about 125, um, going in the ranges of the Wandell Robinsons, Michael Thomas, Cedric Tillman, Alec Pierce, Jacoby Myers, Donovan Peoples-Jones. Darnell Mooney going in that range. So he's a steal in startup draft um, in your leagues. Currently, he's worth about a late second round pick. Um, you know, Gabe Davis, Wondell Robinson, Juju, Jacoby, uh, Romeo Dubes, John Mechie, Alec Pierce, Brandon Cooks. These are all guys in keep trade cut that are right around the range that Sky Moore is. So he's very much being undervalued, especially since what happened last year, did not get the playing time, did not really play particularly well for most people to consider him, you know, a guy that might break out this year. So I was a huge Sky Moore fan coming in last year, and then he went to the Chiefs, which made me even happier. Um, again, didn't have the greatest season, but when you look closely, there were reasons for that. So I am on the buy side of Sky Moore. I would love to go out and buy him for a late second round pick. I will easily give up a late second round pick to get a, a shot at Sky Moore. If you have him on your squad, hold him. Don't give him up because you're not going to get enough for him. So I'm a big buy on Sky Moore. Can he finish with, you know, a 900 yard season like Juju had last year? Juju missed two games last year and had 900 yards with seven touchdowns. And with Juju and Nicole Hardman gone, that opens up a ton of targets in that offense. So I expect Sky to take over that Juju role and be that slot guy for Patrick Mahomes. So you guys tell me what you think. Are you buying Sky more? Are you selling? Are you holding? Are you just out altogether? Do you think he's a bust? Let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about Sky more because I'm happily buying right now. If you do like the content, smash that like, smash that subscribe. Let me know down in the comments some other guys you want me to go over, some buy, sell, holds, because we're going to be doing a lot more of these. I'll see you all on the next one.